Good evening, thanks to all the new subscribers and welcome to the channel. If you've subscribed, because you're in, into the Polaris Razor 570, there's a lot of footage on this channel. There's a lot of weird stuff on the channel. Go and have a, go and have a hunt around, there's all sorts on there. But if you're waiting for any new contacts on the Razer 570, I'm afraid this video is sad. Very, very sad. Monday, this week, just gone. I had to let the Razer go. We had to load it into a trailer. Shut the doors on it and it's gone. It's left the country. It's left North Wales. Travelled all the way up through England. Clawed its way over Hadrian's Wall. And made its way all the way to Aberdeen in Scotland to its new owner. Who was an absolutely amazing, lovely bloke. And he travelled down from Aberdeen having only seen photographs of it. Some video clips I made of it in the workshop under a lot of trust trusting me that when he got here after many hundreds of miles of travelling with a trailer on the back of his vehicle to come and see a four year old Polaris Razor 570 that it was in a good usable condition Story goes like this, I placed an advert on eBay and I placed an advert in Facebook Marketplace. I got lots of views and lots of watches on Facebook and I also got a lot of views and a lot of watches and a lot of messages on Facebook Marketplace. I also had lots of what I call electronic tyre kickers where somebody will go is this still available? You message you back yes it's still available and the next message you get back is how fast does it go? Straight away I know they're looking to come down have a test ride you take them out in it yeah, I'll talk to you later mate, I'll ring you up, I'll let you know, and you never, never ever hear of them again. I'm not interested in that. But the gentleman who messaged me from Aberdeen, at the time I didn't know he was up in Aberdeen, sends me a message, is it available? I text him back, yes, it's still available. He then fires me a load of questions, which are legitimate, so I answer his questions. He then says he's going to have to get a trailer. If he comes to get it, how wide is it? Standard 50 inches. Mine had the ITP wheels on it, makes it 56 inches. So he had all these dimensions. He fires me another question later in the evening. Will you please ring me at 7 o'clock? So if 7 o'clock comes, I ring the gentleman, he, ring, he answers his phone, we have a half hour conversation, we have a really good chat and about 8 o'clock in the evening he sends me a message, then he rings me and he says I'll take it, oh, I'm a bit gobsmacked, he's in Aberdeen, I'm in North Wales, it's a long, long trip. 
Anyhow, he says, what are you asking for it? Give him the price. And he says, uh, what sort of deposit are you looking for? I was looking at somebody turning up to buy it, coming down, paying for it, taking it away. And he says, I put £500 down on it. So he says, have you got some bank details? And I'll get the wife to transfer the money directly into your bank account. So I says to him, send us your email address. I'll fire that up as an email. So that all goes through. It then sends me a message back saying, money's been transferred. So I'm now watching online banking with my bank. Lo and behold, by 11 o'clock that evening, his deposit's paid. So I take it off. eBay, I take it off Marketplace. And I'm thinking, great, guy's coming for it. He sends me a message. I'm on holiday for the next two weeks. And I'll arrange to come and collect it when I get back from holiday. So I've now got it two weeks. Deposit's been paid. Brilliant. It's now all hands on deck. Clean it. Go through it. From front to back, clean it. Seats out, battery out, centre console out, everything. Try and get as much of the mud that's collected in all sorts of crevices out. All the hay that's managed to get into it when we were in the field at baling time. Just give it a really good clean. And then I said, right. I need to give it a service because it was coming close to a service it probably had 20 hours to go but for me I couldn't let it go so I gave it fresh oil in the front differential I gave it fresh transmission fluid fresh engine oil new oil filter cleaned the K&N blew it all out cleaned all the ducts cleaned all the um, filters on the outside where the air goes in reassembled it all then decided I've never changed the coolant drain the coolant mix some coolant up change the coolant for him put everything back together bleed it then it sat in the garage because I was involved in a motor accident and the week following the motor accident after finishing work, yeah, I was capable of working. I hadn't injured myself really badly. Just injured my poorly wrist. The one that's, um, if you watch the wrist fuse and X um, videos, you'll see what's been done to my wrist. Anyhow, it took a knock in the accident and it's been giving me grief ever since. So I didn't feel like going into the workshop the week after the accident. And then... On the Friday evening, a week after the accident, I get a message saying, be down on Monday to collect the Polaris. I'm thinking, crumbs, that leaves me a weekend. I'm working Saturday. We're going up to watch the very last motocross race of the year on the Sunday. How am I going to finish the Polaris? So I sent him a message back. This Monday coming... I've not had a chance to change the wheels to put it back to 50 inch. I've not finished cleaning it. And he went, sorry, I meant the 21st. So, oh, great, brilliant, super, it's given me a week. And he says, don't bother changing the wheels. The trailer I've bought will fit with the wide wheels on it. So that's brill. Don't have to mess me garage up digging all the wheels out. So, during the week... I was in, I was cleaning, I was wiping, I was polishing, cleaned all the interior out properly, give it good scrubbing, siliconed everything off, all the wiring connectors removed, all WD-40, grease in them, put everything back together. And after I cleaned it, I didn't want to get in it. I didn't want to get my dirty footprints all over it and everything. I thought, he's coming for it tomorrow. This was on the Sunday. And it is absolutely shining. It wasn't that clean when I bought it. Left it in the garage overnight. Managed to finish work early on the Monday evening. Come home. Seats haven't been put back in it. I have to put it back in the garage because they were still 
I was just waiting for the um, the cleaner and I wanted to just finish giving them a scrub. So I reassembled the seats before he arrived, locked the garage back up, went back in the house. Gentleman turns up about six o'clock on the Monday evening, still daylight. Comes in, makes him a brew, him and his wife. His wife was absolutely really, really lovely lady. Lovely, lovely lady. The gentleman was lovely too. Great, lovely people. It was a real pleasure to meet him. So I went outside, got the Polaris out of the garage, parked it on the on the drive, opened the doors, just gave him a quick tour of it, showed him all the spares that were going with it. It was going with the weatherproof roof, there's the door covers, the side windows, the back window. And it door pockets were part of the integral part of that, so it went with all that. It went with the four original wheels that came with it. New air cleaner. I gave him half a gallon of front differential fluid, the on-demand fluid. I gave him a brand new CVT belt, the original Polaris belt that did 800 miles. A belt that had done two and a half and it still had loads of life in it. So it's gone away with a new belt, fully serviced, and it, all the grease points greased up again. It's gone away in the best condition I could send it off to its new home. Even through a brand new, I say brand new, brand new to the Polaris, a 20 amp hour Lucas sealed gel battery. So that was a, an upgrade on the original battery. So battery that has been tested as well. My friend tested it. He's, uh, he runs an electrical business, sells batteries and that. So he tested it and he said, yeah, that one's passed the drop test. So I was happy to put that on it. So I'm happy. The Polaris. Sad to see it go. I've had three years of amazing fun. Three years of amazing reliability. Three years and I've learnt a lot about side by sides. I've learnt a lot about maintaining them, looking after them, where you can go in them, using them. It was brilliant. Absolutely loved it. But there is a good point to this video. The, the videos will carry on being made and a side by side is going to be in the new videos from now on. I don't collect the new one till the 2nd of November and we're not trailering it home we're not putting it in a van to bring it home we are going to road trip it a hundred miles from where I'm buying it plan is on the Saturday morning everybody's meeting at my house there's three of us going myself my best friend Paul and a very, very good friend of mine who I've known for, well, I met him when the dinosaurs were still on the planet. We went out hunting Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's how long I've known the guy. So we're going up in his car. We're going to run up. Pick the new side by side up. And the gentleman whose car we're going up in, he used to come hunting Tyrannosaurus Rex with me. He's driving his car back, and my best mate Paul, bless his cotton socks, he's going to get into the new one, and he's going to have the cameras, he's going to do the filming, and we're going to film the road trip home. We're going to stop on the way home, about halfway, and I want to go to a Ferrari dealer. They sell Porsches, they sell Teslas. I want to go to this dealer on the way back. With the new side by side, park it on the forecourt, get some pictures, go in, see what they've got in the showroom, if they'll let me do a bit of video, and then continue the trip. There's obviously going to be a McDonald's stop somewhere on the way home, but we've got a 100 mile road trip to do in the new side by side, so I'm looking forward to that. On the Sunday, me and Paul are going to go out, just take it to some of the usual haunts get to know it, see what its capabilities are, have a laugh, do some filming, get some shots. Paul Philbin from the outside, drive-bys, this kind of stuff, 
just having a laugh, getting to know it. So I'll put a video together then of the collection caper and summer Sundays, just getting to know the new side by side. But if you've been looking for content, you're wondering where I've gone, that's the reason why there's been nothing onto the uh, channel. I've had no content to put up. I've not forgotten about any of you. I think all my subscribers are brilliant. There's, there's a lot of interaction going on between some subscribers. Some have just subscribed, obviously, to watch. Thank you very much for subscribing. Like the videos, by all means. If you're just watching them for the fun, the giggles we're having, thank you. But I'm going to end this now. Say thank you and please look forward, like I'm looking forward, to the new side by side. We're going to carry on having adventures. You cannot stop having fun. That's what life's about. Good night all.